Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and we're right here at the Intel Future Showcase in Hamburg, Germany. And what we've got right here is a really interesting project by Luciani and his, Luciano and his friends from uh, the Saarland University in Germany. And what they're doing is called Display as a Service. And they're basically using a central server or different devices to actually put lots of dis di different contents onto many, many displays of different sizes. Um, we're trying to, let's get rolling. Hi. Um, so, I will present you this place of service. Um, the approach for this uh, solution is to virtualize the display properties. Um, each display knows its own resolution, size, borders, position and other capabilities. For example, if it can only display mono or also stereo 3D content and um, where it's located in the, spa uh, in the room. We can now stream multiple, uh, from multiple sources. In this case, it's just one source, my laptop over here. I have a screen grabbing application where I'm just grabbing my desktop, um, which is appearing here. Unfortunately, Wi-Fi today isn't too good because we have uh, 250 Ultra books in it, but it's still working. Um, so I'm displaying, uh, I'm just streaming my desktop content and then video. This is coming from the same laptop, but it could also come from completely separate machines, from any number of machines. Uh, over standard network, in this case Wi-Fi, even over the internet if there's enough bandwidth to stream the video. I can interact with it, I can scale it, I can move it around, uh, I can scale it. I have to mention it's still in research, so this is no finished product. And just interact with multiple remote machines on this display as it would be one machine, just as I interact with my uh, email client browser of any window on my desktop machine. What I can also do is I know the position and size, I can take another one, move them next to each other, and with a small gesture. So it just works now. Come on, Wi Fi, don't die on me. Just pinch them together and fuse them into one larger display. Then it takes a second to generate the actual stream because each display gets a dedicated stream. This one somewhat doesn't want to, I let it just here. So it's a peer to peer connection between the source and each display. Uh, a dedicated video stream, live encoded H264, streamed over RTSP. Only the pixels which are visible. So that means currently the video is divided into two parts. Bezels are left out, only the pixels which are visible are streamed over. If we have to scale it down, we do it in the source side. If we have to scale it up, we do it at the display side to save uh, as much bandwidth as possible. I'm not just limited to two displays, I can use any amount of displays, I can use displays of different sizes and I can arrange in any way I want. I can, for example, take another one, rotate it and pinch it together just as this position. I think I misaligned it slightly, we will see this in a second. Pierce. Yes, so my pinch wasn't accurate enough, I will just reconfigure it more accurately this time. I can interact with the stream on any of those devices. And just use it from wherever I want. I will just use another one. I can also leave some gaps, so I will just pinch that one here. And as we just use the visible pixels and we can locate each pixel in the world, we can automatically compensate for these gaps. So if you're basically streaming your desktop contents from the other computer over there, can you actually in interact with the with the desktop of that one? Or in general, yes. In this demo now, because we just uh, for demo purposes implemented the um, interaction with the streams themselves. But as I know where I touch and I can locate this in the world as well, because I have touch screen information and display information, I can uh, decide which window I am interacting with. So, for example, if I move my finger here, nothing happens. If I use it uh, on any of those visible pixels, you see that it follows my finger. And I could just use the same information to interact with the application itself on the desktop. All right. So who's actually developing this? You said you were... I'm sponsoring the, this. And uh, 
I'm from the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence, DFKI. Um, we are collaborating with Intel from the Intel Visual Computing Institute and uh, Saarland University, located in Saarbrücken, Germany. And we are developing it um, in this joint cooperation. Right. So that was Roland with Mobile Geeks with Display as a Service on four Lenovo Yoga Ultrabooks right here. Thank you. Bye.